started, I started playing cricket when I was four, seven, eight. Um, stopped playing for a while and then once I moved to Newcastle, um, played for Cardiff and then ended up at Merriweather. Um, loved the game, loved, the, I suppose, the patience and uh, mentality that you need um, when you're playing the game. Um, and I suppose that really comes into my painting as well. So you need a lot of patience and, and mentally you need to be in a zone um, to do your paintings as well. Love colouring in, love drawing, more copying other pictures and, and, and honing my skills that way. Um, didn't do it for a while and then I reckon around 2010 my sister approached me and said oh, we should start doing some paintings and then <clears throat> really got stuck into it then and yeah basically haven't looked back. Um, so basically the art I create, where I grew up in the Northern Territory, I lived there for about 26 years. So throughout the, throughout the Territory it's really abstract painting um, and beautiful colours that capture the landscape. So basically that's where a lot of my influence come from. Um, so I love doing abstract, as you can see the painting behind me. Um, but I also am asked to do a lot of animals um, and that's fine. Um, but if anyone asks me what my favourite paintings to do would be the abstract paintings. Yeah. Probably about two years ago I got sent my grandmother's diary on my father's side. Um, so it's about 46 pages long and there's a lot of stories in there. So what I really love doing is um, putting those stories onto canvas and what it does is captures my family stories and sharing that those stories with everyone. I grew up with my mother. Um, she was the rock. She basically did everything for us, you know, food on the table, worked two to three jobs um, to look after three kids. Um, so she's been a big, big influence on my life personally, and I'd say my brother and sister as well. Oh, look, I, when it comes to artwork, I, just, I love, I suppose, developing um, a piece of work. Um, I suppose the most satisfying thing is when you finish and you stand back and look at it and you think, wow, um, you know, I just done that. And, and, and to be happy with what you've just done, um, like I said before, you know, if I'm not happy then I won't try and sell it or anything like that. But if you're happy with your end product, um, as you would know, you, um, you know, you're very satisfied. I have to know that the clients are going to like it. So if I don't like it, um, then I'm not going to sell it. So perfection, I'm perfectionate in that way. If people want something in particular, um, they don't really see it to the end, res the end result. Um, so you're hoping and praying that they like it.